man. He's got to stop bouncing that chair. He's got so much energy, maybe I should change my prediction, man. I mean, he's... <laughs> We'll have to wait and see how the first game goes. A sick record versus Terran, by the way, 57 and 25, and 28 versus 13 this year. That's pretty solid. Uh, again, he hasn't played against the caliber players that Flash has here in Korea, but he's played a lot of tournaments where he's had a lot of pre um, preparation for groups and whatnot, which has, until very recently, been one of Flash's weaknesses. Yeah, that is true. You can count this guy out. I think he's definitely going to take at least one game. I'd say if it's not 3-1, probably 3-2. I would play for Flash as well. And uh, let's take a look at Flash over here. A big all-time record, but for 2014, four, uh, 54 and 34, pretty nicely done there. And versus Protoss, pretty good record as well. In just 2014, he's 21 and 11. Well, Flash getting uh, focused here, meditating. He winked at me. He's going to start hovering. <laughs> <laughs> he's uh, the type of player you give him a week, to prepare for a match like this, a best of five, he's going to do so well with that. Even if he doesn't know the exact order of the maps, he can plan out a build for every single map and a strategy and execution uh, that he's going to put forward into that game. So pretty terrifying to face him in your first round. Unfortunate for Stardust, but let's have these two players clash, these two titans, here at the Casper Cup 2014. My Insanity Stardust, Son Soki versus KT Loster Flash, Lee Young Ho. Down here at six o'clock in the red, the Protoss player from Europe himself. It is Stardust. My insanity. His teammate Jachi. Two good Korean pros going over. Early pro coming out here. Uh-oh. We saw him grinning. He has that smirk on his face. so ready, man. And over here at Flash O'Clock, in the blue, at KT Rolster, it's Flash. <laughs> no one could have guessed. <laughs> All right, so um, for those of you guys who follow Pro League, I know a lot of you guys stay up late watching Pro League all the time. Maybe you know, you're staying up all night watching Pro League so you can't watch WCS Europe. You, know, you can't watch all of the StarCraft that there is to watch in this world. On this planet, there's so much that's going on constantly. Um, if you do not follow uh, WCS Europe, think of Stardust as a very aggressive player. Uh, he's similar to Parting in a lot of ways. He's very aggressive, um, likes to, to do damage early, likes to pressure his opponents early, but often also is cheesy, a bit more than Parting in that sense. So he's a very aggressive player, and this fits his personality and his style very, very well. And what do we have here? It's like just it is these things keep happening. And it's a two gate, it looks like. Or at oh, the very man. least he's gonna proxy his core up here. Could be. He's got that probe on uh, patrol for now. Makes a gas, so it's probably gonna be that Cyronex core up there. And oh man. We saw this before. Reality go down to SOS in the same fashion. And Flash, you know, it's not as close. He still doesn't know the spawning location of Flash just yeah. yet, so he does have a little bit of extra time compared to what Reality was doing. Of course, the push is also a little bit differently. Okay, it's the PvP 2 gate, it looks like. No, it's not, actually. No, it's not. No, it's not. I'm sorry. I was getting too excited. There's the core. And uh, let's see which... Is he scout right? Oh, he does. Wow. This is going to be a fast game. Flash's micro is really good, his decision making is really good, but sometimes uh, you just get the wrong build at the wrong time. Sometimes the cookie crumbles all over your lap. It's gross. Into a million pieces. It's really awkward because you don't know if you want to stand up and brush it off or if the person's home you're in would think that's really rude. And yeah. Otherwise awkward you get cookie crumbs in your lap. I mean, I don't know. It's lose-lose. Yeah. Well, Zealot about to pop out here. Pro being annoying, forcing a SCV off the line to follow it. Kerna boost on the Stalker to follow up here. First Marines on the way. He just wants to stop that bunker if he can. Here comes that Zealot. He should be able to stop the bunker easily. Let's see how quick he... Whoa! <laughs> He's pulling probes! SCV goes down. Bunker is nowhere near complete. And the CC finishes, so he's not getting those 400 minerals back. If he holds here, though, he's going to have that extra economy. Not the worst situation ever. Second bunker started here. Yeah, he needs that bunker up on the high ground. Going to want to cancel this one and maybe make a tight wall. 
Those probes, I'm not sure if they're going to be able to get up there if he gets that wall up. All right, SCV's tanking up here. He's targeting the Marine, though. Very nicely oh. done. Really nice micro on that Marine, though. He keeps it alive, but the probes, Mineral will walk through. Flash blows all of his SCVs. He's keeping those two Marines in the back alive. He does lose one, but it looks like it will be a love for now. Yeah, the that stalker. bunker's about to finish, but he, does he get through? Does he get through? He needs to target the one that's on the bottom. He does not, and he will lose that Stalker. Second Stalker gets in here, though. And now he's got to micro his heart out here. Probe count is at 9 versus 11 SCVs, plus that Mule Man, 30 minerals per trip. Pretty sick. And what's up? Mothership Core in the house. It's in the house. The one Marine is trying to poke at it. He's got a second one that's poking at it again, but that's not enough. He's oh, just the, the stalker. He needs to get through that loop. Can he get through that loop? No, he's going to the bottom, but he's running out of space. Oh, he's juking him, and here comes that Mothership Core. A lot of lost mining time here, and that second stalker gets in. This might just be too much for Flash. Oh, he's around. He grabs it, and it goes down. Yeah, but again, he's losing so much mining time right now. But he does have that second CC on the low ground, so he will move down there. Will be okay for now. Tense. Good micro here by Flash. Time Warp does go down, but... Oh, this is another SCB. Oh, he needs to micro that Stalker. He does. So many SCBs were low from before. He's down to six Harvesters. Two meals at a time being dropped here now. Actually, does he have that into an Orbital? I don't think he does. He only has one Orbital, I think. I don't think he could afford a second one. He's going to get worn down. He's going to eventually lose his barracks. Second Stalker's here now as well. Can't even afford a repair. More and more SCVs being picked off. A good micro here. Stardust has this game won. There's a lot of Marines now. He's oh. going to lose the Mothership Core. Yeah, lose that Mothership Core, and he will lose this other Stalker. So he will be able to resume mining here in the main base. Well, hold that thought. Two more Stalkers are popping up in here, and he's going to micro them really, really well. Picking off more SCVs, more Marines. Another Such good micro get dropped here. down. So good. But you know what? This game is actually going towards Flash's favor now with all these Stalkers dead. Because he has two, uh, two actually orbitals. Yeah. It's an actual orbital now he's got. Two of those with the double mules. So I was mistaken earlier. Unless he sneaked that by after I said that, which I don't think he did. And he's got a decent amount of Marines. Uh, I don't know, man. This game could still go either way, but I, I have to give an edge to Flash now. This has been pretty intense. Okay, he's going to try to force his way up here. I don't think so. Oh, look at the body blocks there on those Marines. That was huge. He does get one Stalker by, but again... Not enough micros going to come through here. I mean, unless, well, he does get one SCV, and he's still in the main base. Marines chasing after it, desperately trying to catch it. Oh, look at that spread on the Marines. There's nowhere for the Stalker to run. I don't think he's even going to get any more than maybe one more Marine here. Not even. All right, do not go up that ramp. Stalker said, please don't tell me to do it. I'll do it if you say, but I just hope you don't tell me. That's actually the feeling of every unit. <laughs> I'll do whatever you say, but I just hope you don't. <laughs> okay, yeah. Stargate's added. Is it in the main? Yeah. It's a weird game here, but I think Flash should be able to recover. The third barracks now on the way. Double mules, double SCV production. He's already almost evened up the worker count. Yeah. Just wants to keep dropping those mules on time. That's the main thing right now. He needs to get that economy back. When he does gain the low ground once again, you know, he may be able to get that. Oh, a little bit of a miss micro here by Stardust, taking some extra damage on that yeah. second Stalker, but Flash does lose one of his Marines. Uh, he's, he's, he's lost so many hit points on those guys. Mm. It's looking rough. Okay. Oracle on the way. Let's get started. We do have Warp Gate Research about to complete here. May want to continue going aggressive here. This SCV is trying to pull, just get by, but he can't. Nice eye there down. by Stardust to see that. Let's shut that down. How much damage do you think this Oracle is going to do? If he can bait the Marines out of the main, I think it could do a lot. But if yeah. not, uh, it's already got so many queued up there. He's going to have like yeah. seven or eight. I don't think this is going to do too much. Just three barracks, two. And he knows this kind of follow-up is definitely something that Stardust could go for. So he's going to be ready for it. Well, Soros loves his oracles in PvT, that's for sure. Now coming in here to the right side. And let's find out how much damage gets done here. I mean, there's not even any building SCVs to pick off right now. Swing around, maybe get some gas SCVs. Not even one. You know, trying to hover over those barracks, maybe pick off one Marine. Ooh. 
Almost flies into those Marines. Now he's a bit stuck. He's going to take some more damage. That Oracle getting super low. Six health. One, One health. health. And gets out. But no kills. And these Stalkers. Uh -oh. GG. <laughs> Just GG's out. It was too much. Next is too late. What a hold. Yeah. Oh my god. Unbelievable. You know, really only SOS has had success with uh, proxies and cheeses today out of all the cheeses we've seen, and we've seen a lot. That was a really close hold there. I mean, that was pretty close. Flash is going to chug that Bakari Sweat Man. He's like, oh, man. And Stardust is just like, well, it didn't work. Let's, uh, let's try something new. He's just got that grin on his face the entire time. Stardust, man, not so much. I mean, he's got like the the end of a grin, like the pieces of a grin here. Now he's grinning, okay? He's just yeah. pretty much grinning. Oh. missed it. <laughs> um, 